later. Can you help me load up? Yeah. Okay. You're pretty quick at this. Yeah. I gotta ask, why are you still helping her? Loyalty? <laughs> yeah, right. She means a lot to me. Even if I don't mean much to her. I don't think anyone means much to her anymore. Might be right. Do you still hang around? No, no. All this shit freaked me out from the start, but it's weird. Feels like we're achieving something, you know? Yeah. Even if it ain't right, it just feels like I got a purpose now. Purpose. I can't count how many people have died because of us. The last month has been wild. But I don't even lose sleep over it anymore. Neither. Never did. Figures. I'm probably gonna go to hell. Hell? You know, for all the bad shit I've been doing. Even if I'm not actually killing people, I'm still enabling it. Don't you ever think we're gonna go to hell? Don't believe in the place. I never used to, but... Just been thinking lately, that's all. But between this and working at the office part time, I can send some decent cash to my kid brother and sister, you know? Now that Noriko's paying us anyway. You're getting paid? Oh shit, you're not? Joking, I'm getting paid. Whew! Ah, uh, that would have been awkward. Bring the trolley? Okay. You here? To get up. Oh, come on. Got work to do. Aww. How many deliveries today? Ask the other girl. 
I'm just the muscle. When are you going back home? This is my home now. You need a shower. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. My place smells terrible, like rotting flesh. I can't get the odor out. It's been getting worse since I first moved in there. This place smells too. Look at what's around you. Here. The smell here is different. It's nice. Okay. You probably have requests to work on. I'll leave you be. I know you. Kojimbo, right? Kojiro. I don't think so. Trust me. You are? Junpei Matsumoto. Can I help you? Nah, man. Just hang it, you know? Saw you here, wanted to say, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I don't know you. I'll be going. Stay a while, let's talk about Corpse Girl. What about Corpse Girl? She's killed a lot of people, right? Like, a hell of a lot of people. Probably. I don't know. 
Come on, man. You're in her crew, yeah? I seen you lifting at the morgue. You run that white piece of shit van, am I right? I don't... Careful now, if I can find you. It can't be that hard for the cops to pinch you. What do you want? Like I said, just wanted to say what's up. I want to know how you guys do it. How do you get up every morning knowing that there's a killer out there even more powerful and successful than Corpse Girl? What's your method? Excuse me? You kill faster than Corpse Girl. How? Whoa there, buddy. I don't kill anyone. Here, check this shit. Service. Nice, huh? What is this? Just read it. You involved with this? Nah, just a fan. Used to be a Corpse Girl fanboy. That shit was wild. Then I discovered this site. It's so much cooler, more profesh, you know? I even used this site once. What happened? The guy I wanted to die? He disappeared off the face of the planet within 24 hours. Can you believe it? And they're offering the service for free! Can I try the site? Sure, man! Type the web address into your phone. Was it Matsumoto? Uh, what? Yes. Where do you live? Hey! Wait just a second, what the F are you doing? Address, please. You're a psycho! Don't put in my details! Why are you worried? Not like the killer will target an accomplice. Of course not, but still! Such a dick move! Later, Junpei. Freaking weirdo.
Wake up. Uh, Kajiro? Mm, it's still early. Need to talk. It's important. Hmm, what is it? Look. How... How did you find this? I've been searching for weeks. I've tried so hard to find how the copycat is choosing victims. But there's absolutely nothing about this anywhere. Met a guy yesterday. Someone involved with the site. You're kidding. Serious. Junpei Matsumoto. Big guy. Rude. Unlikable. Knew who I was. Knew about the morgue. <laughs> Shit. He knows? Don't know how. We need to kill him. How? If he knows our methods, he won't just kill himself when he gets delivered a corpse. He'll just laugh it off. No. I know that. We really kill him. I don't know if I can. I can do it. <laughs> Junpei Matsumoto? Why does that name sound so familiar? Check his profile. Aoi's boyfriend! Aoi, your friend. Is this for real? I met Junpei some time ago. Maybe last month? I see. Are they still together? As far as I know... I haven't spoken to Aoi in a while. Wait, I wonder... What? Never mind, I need to think something's over. Okay. Kojiro, you remember the photo of my sister's corpse, right? Not the one that I crafted. The other one I found on her phone. Sure. You remember the instructions written on it? Stab Shuji at the party, right? Spot on. The copycat must send instructions written on corpse photos. I have a feeling the instructions always relate to killing other people. Other people whose deaths have been requested. That's how they've racked up so many deaths so quickly. Exactly. We can only rely on news reports for the numbers, but... It's pretty clear that the copycat has claimed a few hundred lives in the past month, at least. And we're up to 164. Yes. We haven't been doing so well lately, but the deaths across Tokyo, the ones unrelated to us, are expanding at an exponential rate. Seems that way. Then our rival has a more foolproof method of killing. Is it as simple as adding instructions to a corpse photo, threatening someone with death unless they carry out the instructions? And then, if victim A receives a corpse photo, follows the instructions, and kills victim B, how does victim A also end up dead? Surely it's not suicide at that point. Why follow the instructions to spare your life and then kill yourself anyway? It doesn't add up. How are they killing so many people so quickly? Don't know. Maybe I'll pay Junpei a visit. See what information I can... extract. 
I don't like it, but it may be our only chance. Get as much information as you can from him. Then, dispose of him. On it. Good luck, Kojiro. And be careful. Of course. Later. Hey, is someone there? Kojimbo? Junpei Matsumoto. The fuck? You follow me home, dude? That's right. Have some questions. Not cool, man. Could've just DM me. No. Back off, dude. I'm warning you. I don't think I'll do that. Question one. Hey, I ain't playing your games. Who runs the human removal service? I ain't telling you that. Question two. How are the victims of the website killed? Fuck you, man. Question three. Shut up! What is your role? I've listed the questions in order of importance. Please answer. Holy fuck! Question one. Who runs the human removal service? Question two. How are the victims of the website killed? Shit! You want another fist in the face? Ah! My freaking fingers! Question three. What is your role? I've listed the questions in order of importance. Please answer. Help me! Someone help me! This psycho is trying to kill me! Question one. Fuck you! Who runs the human removal service? Ah! 
Stop! Please! Question two. How are the victims of the website killed? Our Herald. He carries out all the killings personally. Your Herald? He's a visionary. A prophet. And he's immortal. He's more powerful than Corpse Squirrel ever was. Every person targeted by the Human Removal Service is removed by the Herald's hand. Question 3. What is your role?
Saz was just leaving. Oh, no, please. It was my fault. I'm very sorry. Um, did you live here? Yeah. I see. Thank you for taking care of the place. I'll be moving in soon. I see. Did you like it here? Yes, very much so. It... It was home. I'm glad. I hope that I feel just as comfortable here. Library. Don't you have deliveries to make today? I'm just taking the morning off. <laughs> you didn't ask me about that. I told Tomoe. Well, she didn't mention anything about it to me. Saz, I'll see you in a few hours anyway. I just wanted to chill this morning. My birthday. It's your birthday? Yeah. I didn't know. Happy birthday. Thanks. Okay, I'll see you this afternoon. Bye. Later. Come on. Enough. Time for work. Happy birthday! Thanks. I don't have a gift for you. I'm sorry. All good. I... I just didn't know. That's all. I know. I looked at my noise feed, and it even has a notification that today's the day. 
I'm sorry. I don't have a reasonable excuse. It's fine. Really. What's on the agenda today? Twelve deliveries. Tomoe has already prepped the bodies. She's waiting in the van. I've sent the photos to the victims. Only twelve today? <sighs> We're not getting many new requests. All of today's deliveries are just part of our backlog. There aren't many corpses left here, actually. We've managed to work our way through most of them. Uh, have to visit the morgue again soon. I see. Hmm, things seem to be slowing down. The copycat is stealing our business. I just know it. Maybe. Oh, that reminds me. Whatever happened to Ali's boyfriend? What do you mean? I can't believe I forgot about it. You were going to kill him. Oh, yeah. Is he dead? Unlikely. Heard him good, but Aoi arrived before I could go further. <sighs> Shit. Did she see you? Yeah. <sighs> she doesn't owe me, though. I suppose. Wait. You didn't hurt Aoi, did you? Of course not. <sighs> Aoi's innocent, you know? She can't get caught up in all this. I know. So, what do we do about Junpei? If he's still alive, he knows that you're involved with the morgue and with Corpse Girl. Don't know. Actually, he did say something interesting. What did he say? I quote, Every person targeted by the Human Removal Service is removed by the Herald's hand, end quote. The Herald? Who the fuck is the Herald? Did you mishear? Was it supposed to be Gerald? <sighs> Herald. Apparently some prophet. A visionary. Junpei says he's immortal. Immortal? You're not serious. Hmm. Every killing is carried out by him personally. What the hell? How is that even possible? How can someone kill so many people without getting caught? Guess he's good. Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'll take care of those deliveries. Thanks. I'm going to try and dig up something. Dig up? Not literally. Information. Online. Had me excited there for a moment. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be the first person I tell if I decide to go digging up bodies. <sighs> Thanks. You finally good to go? Yeah. Good. I want to get this over with. Okay. Oh, happy birthday, by the way. Thanks. Get any prezzies? Not one. Lame. What do you like? I'll buy you something. Really? You'd do that for me? Of course. You may be a creep, but birthdays are the best. Everyone deserves a present. Well... I'd like a French press. What's that? A coffee press. Oh, I know those. Yeah, sure. I'll order you one. Cool? Cool. Thanks. Sure. Happy birthday, Kojiro. Come on, let's get going. Yeah.
a coffee maker. mentioned this a day or two ago, but our reserves have pretty much dried up. Okay. Anyway, three new requests came through today. I'm really excited. Maybe things will pick up again. Maybe. I'll send through photos of the Vix. Can you select some corpses that resemble them? Tomoe will come by with the van. Okay. Thanks. Um, are you okay? You're pretty quiet. More than usual, anyway. I'm fine. I see. Well, thanks. I'm sending the photos now. Message me when you're done. I'll send Tomoe over. Yeah. The corpses you picked out are good. Two of them, anyway. What's wrong with the third? Mm, he looks a bit too old. Older than the victim, at any rate. I see. Sorry. It's not a problem. I think it'll still be convincing. Are we delivering them today? No. I received even more requests overnight. I need you to go select more cadavers. Sheesh. Again? Aren't you happy that we're busy again? Couldn't care less. I'm only doing this for you. I heard that Tomoe got you a birthday gift. Way to change the subject. I... I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be your friend, and I was just so caught up within my own head that I couldn't be bothered with your birthday. It's fine. So... If you'll accept a late gift, is there anything you would like? A date. With you. Anything else? No. You're being awfully forward today. I thought we agreed to just be friends. What's gotten into you? Nothing. Forget it. I'll go pick out some cadavers for you. Later. Okay. Bye. Stupid. Yo. Mm. What kind of hello is that? Frick. 
Sauce. In a mood. Always the case with you, ain't it? Seems to be. Listen, how about that cup of coffee you promised me? Huh? You know, come on, don't make me say it. You said you'd brew me some coffee with that French press thing. And, well, ugh, I could really use a cup, you know. Oh, yeah, I remember. Zaz, Noriko has sent me to the morgue. Why, she kill you? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it ain't every day a pretty girl offers to have coffee with you. So are we doing this or what? Okay, I can put off the morgue until later. You finally came to your senses, huh? Well, come on then. Let's go to your place. I'll drive. Let's go. This is your place, huh? It's freaking dark in here. Sauce. You a vampire or something? Of course not. I was just outside in the sun with you. True that. You don't bring girls back here very often, do you? No. Maybe if you made the place look more appealing, then girls just might want to come back here. You're here. Sure, but I'm complaining, ain't I? True. Why are you here anyway? It's not for coffee, is it? <laughs> You're a sharp one, ain't ya? Listen, I wanted to talk to you away from, you know. Your boyfriend? No! Jeez! Away from Noriko! Oh. See, this whole thing's been going downhill, wouldn't you agree? All this shit with trying to make people off themselves? Sure, I'm used to it by now, but shit started to hit the fan. How so? Well, there's the business with... What was it? The Human Removal Service? Noriko told you about that? Yeah, of course. We're besties, you know. They've been out there killing and killing, and the police want to shift all the blame onto Corpse Girl. After all, Corpse Girl is the only killer that has gone public. Her name and website are written all over the body bags we deliver. People talk, and everyone knows about her. Mm. So, of course the police are going to assume she's behind all the murders. Except, she's not. Not really. A handful of them here and there, but even then, they're just suicides. Corpse girl. Noriko. She ain't out there slashing necks and drowning people and setting houses on fire. She ain't doing any of that shit going down on the news. I know all this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, if things keep up at this rate, the cops are gonna find her. Noriko. And she's gonna get locked up for life. I ain't gonna lie. She deserves it. The stuff she's doing is messed up. Thing is, me and you, we're a comp... A Accomplices? Yeah, that. We're in neck deep. If Noriko gets put on ice, we get taken along with her. Hmm, I see. You're worried about going to prison. Of course I am. I've got people to take care of. What would Shinya do if I got locked up? What would he think of me? Not to mention my little brother and sister. I can't... I don't think I can do this anymore. No matter how much she pays me, I just... I just can't keep risking it! I think your course of action is clear. It is? Yes. You need to step away from the game. It won't do us any good if you're not totally invested. You can make a fatal mistake that has consequences for all of us. If you're not committed, not focused, it's best that you part ways with Noriko. You know, you really are more understanding than you look. I thought you were a total social outcast with no feelings or empathy. 
Thanks. Let me finish. I... I was wrong. You're all right, Kojiro. <sighs> I'll... I'll take your advice. I'll talk to Noriko and tell her I ain't cut out for this anymore. It's for the best. I guess we won't hang out anymore. Do we ever hang out? <laughs> well, our deliveries, our time at the factory. Then oh, kind of grew to like it. Kujiro. Oh shit. I forgot. There's something I still need to do for Noriko. What's that? She asked me to go to her apartment and pick up some clean clothes for her. I owe her that much at least. You wanna come with me? Her apartment? Okay, I'll come with you. Do I need to break any windows? No, of course not. Noriko gave me your keys. I see. You sound disappointed. Every time I come in here, it smells worse and worse. What is it? Don't know. Yuck. Anyway, her place is up just a few more levels. I know. Oh, you've been here before? Mm. Huh. Hello, Daddy? Kojiro. Hello there. My name is Tomoe. What's your name? Momo. Nice to meet you, Momo. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. The door is locked. I can't get inside. I see. Is your mommy or daddy home? I think daddy is home, but he won't answer the door. Let me try, okay? Yo! Anyone home up in here? Hello? Anyone there? Are you sure your dad is home right now? I think so. He was here right before I went outside to play. You don't think something happened, do you? Don't know. What's your dad's name? Um, it's Kenji. Kenji, huh? And what was he doing before you went to play? He was watching TV. I see. Thank you. If he's got the TV on, it might be too loud for him to hear us. Anyway, I'm sure he'll open the door soon. We should go up to Noriko's. You're unbelievable! I ain't leaving this girl here! What if something bad happened to her dad? Uh, something happened to dad? No! Oh, honey, I didn't mean it like that. Kojira, we need to get in there. Clear the doorway. The daughter's right here. Bring her with us. Hurry it up. Daddy? Momo! Oh, thank God. Sweetie. Daddy... Daddy has to go to the police station for a little bit. I'm sorry, Sue. I'm so sorry.
fuck is going on here? Don't. Don't get involved. It's a police matter. Momo. What the hell just happened? You okay? Okay, I'm done. Can we get going? Yeah.